That new intro was provided by the folks at Content On Demand. They offer personalized branding such as intros and animations, and they work efficiently and ensure satisfaction. If you want to learn more, click on screen now or follow the link in the description. Welcome back guys, my name is Matt, and if you like the whole montage unboxing thing I did on this video, let me know by dropping the like below. I spent a lot of time on it, and I had a lot of fun editing it, so if you want to see more stuff like that, I will definitely do it. Now what you're looking at now is an unboxing of the NZXT Kraken G10. This product is pretty unique. There's nothing else like it in the market. It's basically an adapter or bracket that lets you use your CPU liquid cooler on your GPU, thus giving you all the advantages of a liquid cooled GPU without the price. This thing's only 30 bucks and there's no hassle once you install it. Now, I'm not doing a review right now because I don't have a compatible GPU. I bought it, I was an early adapter, and I bought it when I thought I would have upgraded my GPU by now to a reference board, but I have not, so my GPU is not currently compatible. But once I get a reference GPU with a compatible board, I will definitely be bringing you an installation and review of the NZXT Kraken G10. Now, what comes in the box, since this is an unboxing, is the GPU bracket itself, a backplate, a fan, the screws and nuts and stuff to install it, and then six zip ties, and most importantly, the installation guide. Because this is not the way the GPU is necessarily meant to be cooled, it's meant to use the air cooler it comes with, you should definitely follow the instruction manual step by step, detail by detail, in order to install it correctly, but I'll go further into detail on that in the installation guide when I do uh, get the chance to do that. Now as a product, I think the NZXT G10 is actually really interesting. So it's only 30 bucks, and then the CPU cooler that you need to use in conjunction with it to adapt it to your GPU could be anywhere from 50 to 120 bucks, depending if you get 120 millimeter, 240 millimeter, whatever. And so you're ending up with $100 or so for a liquid cooled GPU, as opposed to two or 300 or more for a custom liquid cooled GPU. And I think that's an awesome deal. Uh, I can't wait to give you guys the review and the performance reviews and stuff, because then I can better judge how good this product actually is. But that's about it for now. That's all I got. This is the unboxing. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. And as always, stay classy.